Time to lock in, boys. We are ready to go. I got. I haven't set up my gimbal yet, so I just put you guys up on the on the shelf. This is where we're going to be working in this general area right here. I need to turn my fan on because it's it's getting hot. This door might be a new home. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. We could always put the door in the car instead of on the car, because you know why not? I actually. Wait a minute. Damn, I forgot how heavy this shit was. Look at that. Saving space like it's no problem. So this is where we'll be working in this general area. And I see the fuel rail right here. Looks pretty accessible except for right here. Yeah, these look like ventilation lines that we can remove. There's some, there's some spots that I just don't think I'll be able to reach. Yeah, so like right here, I'll be able to get that. But there's a bolt right here that I don't know if I'll be able to reach that. Unless I remove that and that. And maybe I could just remove this whole assembly right here. Because that'd be that'd be making pulling the um, like pulling the whole thing off a lot easier. I guess we'll just start from there and see where I get. I'm gonna start with these right here. I'll just use a screwdriver to remove those. Oh my goodness, gotta get this other one. Perfect. This line right here ran it, it runs to the thermostat. I don't know if that's I think it's just some sort of ventilation line to the thermostat. This one ran to the throttle body. I think now I'm just gonna pull this. I'm gonna take these bolts out and actually can use a Phillips head for that. Think. I actually don't feel comfortable doing that. I'm just gonna get the quarter inch and move it that way. But pretty small. I'm guessing it's in maybe a 10 or 9. No, it's smaller than that. Maybe a 7. No, higher? An 8? Alright, so there's that. Um, and then there's two more down here. I actually just noticed. I didn't even notice those before. If I can, if I can unplug this, that'd be great. I just broke the clip for that. Okay. I just broke the clip for that one too. All right. I just broke the clip for that one too. All right. And the other one's also broken. I can't believe that. <laughs> I went for all three of them. They all just snapped. All right. Well, I can move it to the side. That's good enough for me. It's getting this one possible because this valve cover is in the way. Hmm. Might have to get a wrench. Should have a wrench small enough. Yeah, I got an eight. It's gonna suck to get out though. The bolt is stuck in the actual thing because of the valve cover. This one should come out just fine because, yeah. So this one, the bolt has no room to go to come out. So we're just gonna do that. And I need my magnet, because I will drop that. All right, sweet. I have no idea what this is. Now, this is where it gets a little difficult, since the clips for the connectors are falling apart. How does one get them out? Like Maybe I can press in on it somewhere, but I don't really see where. All right, well, I'm just gonna get a flathead and see what I can do with that. Oh, that worked. I don't know if I broke this piece or if it just did that itself, but the pressing down on that specific spot right there is good enough. That one is just shattering into pieces. The clip for it is gone. It's gone. Two bolts for them are, there's one here and then there's one more uh, way back here. So I'm gonna see if I can find you guys a different spot, a better angle. So the bolts for them are here and here. I don't see any other bolts, so as soon as these bolts come out, I should just be able to lift up and out on these. I'm thinking those might be, they look like, and not a 10, a little bit bigger than a 10. I'm thinking a 12. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Longer bolt than I thought it to be. It just budged a little bit over on this side right here. It just came right off of the, um, yeah, one of the, oh yeah, they're coming out. 
just this piece right here. Oh, there we go. That came out. So one of the injectors is just completely falling out. Um, here's an injector. Where else is this connected? This is a fuel line right here, and it's connected to this. Okay, so I see a bolt on here. I actually see two bolts. I'm just gonna remove those two bolts just to make this a lot easier. I need to go back and get a um, uh, some different size ratcheting wrenches. I had a full set of them, um, but I don't know what happened to them. Um, and I'm missing the 10 most importantly, and that's like one of the most pop like most popular used ones. I think I can actually use the ratchet for that one. Bring it up just far enough, I can get enough space in there, yep. Oh, shit. It's really tight. And the fuel rail is connected to another pipe right here. <laughs> that made a spark. That could have been wonderful. I see a couple ventilation stuff. There's a bolt down here that we can just pull off. Oh, this is this is part of wire. So this bolt needs to come off because that'll free up that spot. So we're gonna get that out of the way. All right, what size do we think that is? It looks like a 10 to me. This is a 10 already. This should fit, hypothetically. Yep. Oh shit, I almost just dropped that. I need to get my extension tool as fast as possible. All right, we're good. So this down here can come up and off of the engine and just route it through out of the way. So we got a couple more stuff. Oh, there's a connector. I think there's a connector down here somewhere. There's a connector, yeah, right down there. Need to pull that connector out of the way. Let's see if I can one hand this thing. I should be able to. I think I'm gonna try and two hand that instead. There we go. It's a lot easier. And I think I see something else. Oh, it's it, it's the starter. Yeah, I gotta disconnect the starter. I think I need to go back down towards the wheel well and disconnect it from there. There is some wiring that goes to the starter that needs to be undone. I see the starter ground that needs to be undone. And then there's another wire that I'm, I'm grabbing right here. Can't tell what that goes to. Maybe the alternator. There's also another plug. I can't tell if that's part of the engine or it is part of the engine. I think that's a knock sensor. That also needs to be unplugged. No, we're working. It's just getting to it. That's gonna suck. We're gonna see how well I can do that. 207 right now. I think we should be able to do it within the next hour. Let's just lock in and do it. in the alternator out there was two there was ground and then there was a power i got the there was uh two same ones for the um starter the power and ground and then i pulled out what i believe was a knock sensor um connector um i'm pretty sure that's what that is i can't really tell from right here but yeah guys i think that's it i'm sure there's probably some more stuff down here somewhere but Everything that is connected to the car that ever could be is disconnected from the car. I think that means we've reached our stopping point, not just for today, but I don't know. The next step is to get a friend with a crane that we can pull this thing out. It already has the points here and here. Just gotta get a chain, chain it up, and just lift it out. I think probably before we do that, we'll put the wheels back on and roll it outside. Super hyped, super hyped about that. I cannot wait. Don't forget, if you wanna see more content on this thing, subscribe, turn on post notifications, get notified when new content comes out and you cannot miss this next video. This next video is going to be insane. This thing's gonna come out and it's gonna be out of the car and it's gonna be on a stand. Like that's just, that's nuts to me. That's wild that we're already here. Thanks again, guys. I'll see ya.